everyone, thanks so much for watching and coming back to me. My name is Veronica. If you don't know already, I do a lot of home decor hauls. Um, I'm trying to stay away from, you know, makeup tutorials, but I'll still do them once in a while. But today I'm going to bring you guys a really wonderful video. This one is everything new at TJ Maxx. I've already done a previous video like this before. I'll have the link down below for you guys to check it out. I got a lot of things. I actually ended up getting everything all at once, which really hurt my heart. But you know what? My mind and soul are very, very going to be blessed when I put all these things on my skin. So let's just go ahead and get started. Hopefully, hopefully soon um, I have, you know, all this new, like the background or whatever. Um, my home decor halls have really been dedicated to my living room and my kitchen. Hopefully soon or probably by next year, I'll start dedicating um, halls for my bedroom. So. That being said, let's just go ahead and get in. Okay, so the first exciting thing that I ended up getting are these Lily Galici lashes. I don't know if they're like, you know, different names. People usually name each lash, but if I do see the name somewhere, um, because I don't have my glasses on right now, I will have it listed somewhere around this video or down below. Um, and everything that I actually find here, I'll have, you know, a link down below just in case you guys are interested today. And purchasing any of them so this one was for $5.99 they are very you know mink type of lashes so I don't know if you know people like mink or these are true mink or whatnot but these were for $5.99 not bad and they're from Sephora so that's really good as well as two pack of Lily Galici lashes and this lash applicator it comes with the pink lash applicator and then two lashes I think they are the same um, and these this box was for $9.99. I actually ended up losing what's it called? <sighs> applicator and I don't know where it's at, but I do have a mess. But anyway, um, I'm very excited to have both of these lashes. I do wear glasses So these have to be like in a day where I don't need them and I don't need my eyesight to see anything So okay next um, I picked up this Lorac lipstick lipsticks don't really last that long on my lips I go tend to get a lot of liquid lipsticks but this one is such a beautiful beautiful pink this one is in the shade booty and the packaging is really clean I like packaging that is like it, it's like iridescent white and then it has you know a clear bottom so you can see the color that you're getting um, I love when TJ Maxx carries a lot of neutral colors because it's so great to actually wear them on an everyday basis and it's just awesome that they actually carry Lorac there I heard and I follow this um, Instagram page where a lot of people see like the new things that are coming out from TJ Maxx and I see that they end up getting the Pirates of Caribbean um, eyeshadow palette from Lorac and I'm very excited I can't wait to hopefully I get my hands on it and the lipstick was just $4.99 alright the big thing that I ended up getting I think it's one of the big things I ended up getting is this makeup uh, forever artistic palette um this one was actually for $14.99 ended up getting it because the shades look very intriguing i did swatch this actually now when i opened it the packaging i was like okay um what's under here and there was okay you'll see so the packaging is very slick very um what's that one movie i'm sure i'll think about it like at the end but this one is very very like oh you know like bulky um, and then you open it and then you have this thing comes off and then you have your shades some of the shades are not great actually I didn't really enjoy some of the shades and I tried to really work hard like liking these shades but some of them I just don't work out so that's it that's all you get $14.99 for these shades and some of them are not that great so I could see why it was possibly at TJ Maxx because it didn't work Regardless, it's, you know, part of my makeup collection. I don't mind collecting high-end makeup because you just never know, you know. At least I didn't pay full price for it and I'm not going to return it back either because, like I said, I do collect makeup and this is one of the good collections to have because it does have a really neat packaging. Alright, and then I end up picking up this Too Faced White Chocolate Chip. You already know, it already smells like white chocolate chip. Very nice colors, which you'll see right now. This one was for $12.99. You know what, when I opened it, I was like, oh my god, this is so tiny. Now, I don't know how it's coming out on camera, but it is a very, very, like, tiny palette. It's very nice to, you know, throw it in your purse, but I, I don't ever touch up my eyeshadow. But it comes with a distant mirror, and then some shades are very shimmery, and they're really, really pigmented. I love this purple champagne kind of mixed color, and that base color is really nice. There's a lot of nice um, transition shades, which you get too, and then you get a dark shade, you know, for that ombre effect, 
and then everything else you could probably just mix it in you could probably end up doing a look with this just by using your fingers to be honest so it has a lot of nice shades the name is on the back and it does smell very very good and again this packaging is gorgeous and just for $12.99 it's not bad okay then I ended up picking up a very expensive mascara this one was for $10 I don't like spending you know more than eight probably on a mascara and that's because you know i have bank but this one was for ten dollars um it is from Too faced and this one is in size queen the packaging is really pretty Too faced always comes out with the nicest packaging the wand is very thick so um it has really really thick spirals i'm pretty sure it's going to be hard to get in the corner of your eyes on the bottom lashes if you're not careful you'll probably have mascara all over but regardless it is from Too faced and i do want to try it because you know, it's $10 and I didn't pay full price for it. So I'm not even mad. All right. And then I end up getting a number seven, like blush and highlight all together. I haven't tried any makeup from the number seven brand. This one was for $5.99 guys. And the packaging is so luxurious. It has, let me show you guys, a big mirror which is nice then it has this trio so i'm guessing this is a setting powder i'm guessing because i haven't read the packaging and two blushes one is shimmery then the other one one's coral and the other one is pink this is a very very nice palette guys um for five dollars it's not bad because i know this brand is a little bit pricey from target so i didn't mind wasting five dollars or, or six bucks on this not bad right so i ended up getting a makeup forever duo this one was for 14.99 not bad because i actually wanted to try some of these out too when they came out this one is the pro sculpting duo but guys this is so pretty so it's a highlight a contour or a bronzer however you guys like using it with the mirror right here it is very very pretty um, the highlight is iridescent sort of like that Laura lipstick I just don't like the fact that it's highlight you know it's it's like common sense like don't put a highlight with something that is um, darker um, like for the cheeks like that because you're gonna end up staining it but you just have to be really careful um, I love the packaging though it's really really authentic so I ended up getting this one and I don't know if I told you guys the price but this one is $14.99 the makeup that they do sell it's all authentic it's not dupes or anything like that so that's really nice because I don't like spending a lot on makeup but when I do it's because I really really love it you know because I have some high-end makeup here that I actually spend a lot of money in and then like a few days later it's actually a TJ Maxx so for instance these eyeshadows I ended up getting these two Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows the video previously I ended up getting like four or five eyeshadows here's two more for you the first one they were for $3.99 each for a single eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills this one is in plum smoke I don't know if I have these shades though um, but I do I will check because I have a whole palette of my Anastasia shadows and then this one is a, a kit contour I did not realize that this one is in copper brown so I'm guessing this is a contour shade it looks like it because it's bigger yeah so um, this is a contour shade I did not know that this was a contour shade I thought it was an eyeshadow because usually when I see these I just pick them up even if I have the color because it's Anastasia all right and then the last two items sorry this video is so long but I'm just so excited about it um, they're from the makeup revolution makeup I ended up picking up this cover cover and conceal palette I did swatch these they're very very pigmented um, when I opened it it looked like it had a little bit of water but I think it's because it's been like in its packaging and then you know the truck and all that but these concealers are very pigmented so these are very very good it has a big mirror right here and then the shades are perfect when you want to you know spot treat your face and conceal these are really good um i don't know if it got ripped from the plastic this one was for five dollars 4.99 guys not bad uh, makeup revolution is already inexpensive as it is so for five bucks deal and then this one is a palette this one is selfie or hashtag selfie and then this one was for $3.99 the shades are really really pretty it comes with a free eye primer oh the eye primer is like sort of like champagne color the colors are really pretty and then it comes with this little brush uh, brush applicator that no one cares about the little plastic that goes over the shadows has the name and then it comes with the mirror and then it comes with these shades these shades are similar to like the Maybelline like casing um, but guys these shades how much was this three bucks four bucks uh, 3.99 these shades right here are a hundred percent better than the makeup forever shades four bucks versus 
they are pigmented and they shimmer like the pigmentation the shimmer is so gorgeous just by swatching it on my hand one swipe and that is it and of course I swiped this one the black one the shimmery ones and a matte one best pigmentation from these packaging or these other brands guys for four bucks for makeup revolution and again this brand is not expensive so i did not i was just shocked um usually when i pick up makeup i like trying it out like makeup revolution is not that expensive i'd rather try something high-end because you get your money's worth or you think up until now i changed my mind and makeup revolution has a lot of controversies honestly you guys if someone i honestly don't care okay they're doing what they want to do and I'm all for it. I'm sorry, okay? Probably because I don't know, I don't own a brand and they're not biting my crap off. But I don't mind spending 15 bucks if I know that their product is going to be good and it's a dupe for something else. Sorry about this long video. I feel like it took me forever to film. I'm so tired. I just got out of work and I want to go eat tacos. Go ahead and follow all my social medias, especially Instagram, Snapchat, and eh. Until they actually fix it, I'm just using Instagram from now on. Um, if you guys want to follow me on there, I have the links down below. And I'll have these makeup down below. And if you guys want to see more of these videos, go ahead and like and comment. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.